This week on the journey to the crown. And the judges were so dignified, respectful, no dirty languages, no dirty looks. So I never felt exploited. You have to stand. If you were given the chance to live forever, would you choose to? This is it, so yeah. Okay. The drama. The excitement. The triumph. All it takes is a few moments on stage. But the journey has never been easy. It is a lifelong voyage. Nurtured with determination, hard work, faith, and a bit of fate. In pursuit of fame and glory, let us relieve the once-in-a-lifetime experience of Filipina beauty queens. This is the Journey to the Crown. A celebration of beauty. Yeah. Her impeccable beauty made her stand out from the rest. Her refined and graceful glide left the crowd and judges in awe. And when she competed on the world stage, she displayed elegance, class, and confidence. The true mark of a Pinay beauty queen. She has the looks that would have taken showbiz by storm, but she chose to stay away from fame and led an uncomplicated and happy life. Hello everyone! Today it's my privilege to interview our very first Miss Photogenic awardee, Binibining Pilipinas Universe 1971, Miss Vida Doria. Hi Miss Vida! Hi Shamsi! How are you? Very fine. Okay, yes, it's been a long time since your stint in Binibining Pilipinas yes. and Miss Universe. So, how has life changed? Not much. Well, only the age changed, but life basically is the same. So, what keeps you busy right now? Oh, I've been painting for 11 yes, years. Yes, you can see all your yes. paintings here. Yes, uh, it's oil on canvas. When did this passion in painting 11, started? 11 years ago. That was when my mom passed away and mm. my brother and I felt so kind of sad. Yeah. The very first brush stroke on canvas, I never stopped after that. Wow. I stopped painting after that. But Other. aside from painting, you're also into fashion. Yeah, but um, I gave it to my daughter mm -hmm. about two years ago and she's the full owner. Uh, it's already hers. And I have more time doing to, to the paint. painting. So after your pageant, most of the girls would usually enter show business. Yeah. But you <clears throat> chose a different path. Yes. Why is you that? You know, after the pageant, I went back to UP to finish my thesis. And then after that, uh, I got married, uh, get, went into business, and um, raised a family of four children. Mm -hmm. Was it deliberate to really like shy away from the limelight? Well, um, I find li the limelight kind of taxing. Uh, you have to dress up, you have to put makeup. And I was also invited to join to make a movie mm. uh, by the late, late FPJ. Wow, leading lady. Yes, but I don't know how to act. <laughs> I cannot be someone else other than myself. And so I said, maybe it's not really for mm -hmm. me. So let's go back to your college days in okay. UP. Yes. Uh, am I right? You joined yes. street demonstrations yes. while still in school? Yes. What were you fighting for back yeah, then? Yeah, I did that because I had a lot of classmates mm -hmm. who were uh, incarcerated and wow. some of them even got killed. So I felt I have to be counted. And uh, also, I felt it's, something's really wrong. Mm -hmm. And uh, I attended symposia in uh, UP, and uh, I even met Ben Cervantes, and he was the one who recruited, who asked me to join Binibining Filipinas. Wow! So yeah. what what made you join? I never ever dreamt of becoming a beauty queen. I did join Curiosity, and I decided to give it a try. But of but course, thank God, I won a crown for Miss Universe. Was there any degree of conflict between your ideals uh -huh. as an activist and, uh -huh. of course, being a beauty queen? Uh -huh. Well, at that time, the, I think the issue was 
exploitation. Mm -hmm. And I never felt, ever, ever felt exploited at all. And the judges were so dignified, respectful, no dirty languages, no dirty looks. So I never felt exploited. So you were only planning for a runner-up finish, but you yeah. won the crown yes. and you represented the country in uh, Florida yes. for Miss yes. Universe. Yes. 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 And uh, you won Miss Photogenic. Yeah. How did that feel? Well, uh, it was more than what I expected because I said, I just have to finish this because it's a commitment. My boyfriend was waiting for me <laughs> in the Philippines. But winning uh, Miss Photogenic Miss Philippines for the very first time in the Miss Universe was a great honor mm -hmm. and I was very happy. Yes. Yeah. I was you brought happy. pride to the country at yeah. that year. Mm -hmm. And what are your fondest memories of, of Miss Universe? And the very first time I rode a Boeing a Pan Am Boeing 747 and first class at that. And then when we reached the States in LA, we were billeted in Hilton, Hollywood. So those are from UP, you know the lifestyle yes. in UP. And then all <laughs> Very of a sudden, back, you know? yeah. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you're exposed to those things. I enjoy them. I enjoy the journey, but I just enjoyed it from a distance. I never allowed myself to get absorbed into it. And I think it's more fun. Yes, you enjoy it from like, like it's a journey. It's a like it, watching it a movie. It goes by so fast. Yes. Upon returning from Miss Universe, Vida sets aside everything in the name of love. Next on the journey to the crown. Describe yourself in three words. I am black, I am beautiful, and I am unique. Which country has the most number of Miss Photogenic Award? Find out when we return. The Philippines holds the record of having the most number of Miss Photogenic Award. It has won seven trophies, courtesy of Vida Doria, Margie Moran, Eileen Damiles, Abigail Arenas, Giona Cabrera, Lia Andrea Ramos, and Ana Teresa Licaros. After their hair styling exercise, the girls have come to the most dreaded part of a beauty pageant. Okay, good evening girls. Good evening. Good evening. Usually, people say that this is the most feared portion of the pageant. I really do not understand why people fear this portion. I've always told our girls that this is the easiest part. So what is important here is to get prepared or to be prepared for any type of question. So that's what I'm going to teach you now. So we come to the rules of the question and answer. The first thing that you have to remember is that a question and answer and that answer to the question would always involve two facets. Number one is that the form, meaning how you answer, your delivery of the answer. Number two, the substance of the answer, what you say. Now, guess what matters more in pageants? For me, it's both. Mm -hmm. In pageants, both the form and the substance matter. The problem is, given the setting of a question and answer portion, like you have 30 seconds to respond or 45 seconds to respond to the question, if the two cannot go together, you prioritize the form. Number two is that you always have to remember also that the substance also matters. Meaning that at the very least you have you know, something to say about the topic. Number three is that you have to remember that you are still performing on stage. So you have to maintain that grace under pressure. And number four is that you have to connect to the audience. You have to connect to the organizers of the pageant. And most of all, you have to connect to the judges. Okay, so we're clear with that? Yes. Now, we'll have some questions to answer. Okay? You have to stand. So, I will assume the role of a host. And let's imagine that there are judges here. If you were given the chance to live forever, 
would you choose to? If I were given the chance to live forever, I would have to choose not to. I think that the beauty of life lies in its temporary, in its temporary series. It, so yeah. Okay, remember in pageants, all you have to do is to be confident with what you're saying. Remember the form and substance of problem. So, your answer must be fluid. So, do not say ah or um. Do not appear tentative. Just go direct your answer and whatever's in your mind, you express it. So, that's the way to do it. Pril, this is your question. Describe yourself in three words. I will describe myself in three words that um, I am black, I am beautiful, and I'm unique. Because for me, um, having a black skin is never a hindrance in joining pageants. So for me, I am unique and I am beautiful. Always assume that in every question, there would always be a why. Because if you don't do that, then it's a wasted opportunity. Your answers may not have to be that long, but also cannot be that short. What is the biggest problem of the country today and what can you do to help solve it? I believe that one of the biggest problems of our country today is the drug problem. And I am delighted that our president is doing a courageous act on, on solving, solving this problem. Therefore, if I win this pageant, I will have the influence to encourage our country to unite and do our part in, in helping achieve a better Philippines. For questions like this, if you are asked about a social issue or if you are asked about a problem, my, my tip is that you have to offer a solution even if, even if the question does not call for a solution. So girls, I hope you've learned much from this session. I hope you will work hard and do your assignment. So read and practice. So instead of gossiping, just practice answering questions with your friends and family. Practice makes perfect. Don't forget that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Next week, Rihanna, April, and Karina find their best overall look when we come back. And later, the lines are coming out, but they have to be happy lines. This fan goes out of his way to support Filipina candidates. He either harnesses the power of the internet or deeps dig into his pocket.
during the contest in the Binibining Pilipinas. I sleep and rehearse in Adaraneta, but I go back to school in, during daytime. After coming home with a Miss Photogenic trophy, Vida seemed to have her plans in place. She completed her studies in the university and put up a fashion line. Then she took care of the matters of her heart. So after Miss Universe, you went back home here in the Philippines yeah. and went back to school. To school. And I admire for that because yeah. a lot of girls after joining, they don't really want to finish their studies yeah. anymore. Actually, that was also what I did during the contest in the Binibining Pilipinas. I sleep and rehearse in Adaraneta, but I go back to school in, during daytime. Wow. Because I, I really wanted to graduate that year. And then what else did I do? I went into business, I mar got married after going to school, and then I raised four children, mm -hmm. happily raised four children. And I'm so happy how they turned out to be. And uh, looking back, I never regretted a single thing. This life that I have right now is the life that I always wanted. Wow, you I know? wish we could all say the same thing. Yeah, married to the man, my, to the same man for 44 years and still wanting to stay married <laughs> to him. It's a miracle. And with Miss Universe um, coming here again yes. for the third time in the Philippines, um, what are your thoughts? Well, at first I said it might not be the right, it might not be the right time. Mm -hmm. But I get because of the security. Yes. But it's something exciting, and I think it will distract also our countrymen, the people from the, the, the fear or the bad news. It might be a good distraction, mm -hmm. and I hope it is going to be very safe. I hope. And do you have any advice to our um, Maxine, candidates? Yes, Maxine, Maxine Medina. Yeah. Well, enjoy the journey, enjoy, have fun, and uh, make a lot of friends, and uh, make the winning a secondary for me. Uh. And if you win, it's even going to be sweeter because you were not trying hard, so hard to get it, and then you get it. It's gonna be very sweet, sweeter than ever. And what are your thoughts in our tagline? You know, once a beauty queen, always a beauty queen. You have to live up to it. And it's not easy because people expect you to look good every time. And wherever you go, they always assess and analyze. But I think I'm happy with the way people are talking about me. I think they're happy with the way my life turned out. And uh, they're happy for me. And I think, you know, her happiness, her inner happiness radiates yeah. and makes you even more beautiful even if you yeah. get older. Yeah. I think that's really the, the secret to yeah. always staying beautiful. Yes, and it's true. You never really get old, but your spirit never grows old. Never, never grow old. But of course, the lines are coming out, but they have to be happy lines. <laughs> We all wish to grow, to grow yeah. like you, or like all, all of us. Yeah, thank you. You inspired so many um, girls, and thank you very much for, for yeah. having us yeah. and uh, for letting us into your, your life yeah. as a beauty queen and now as a mom and as a wife. Yeah. So thank you. And a grandmom. And a grandmom. Before I forget. <laughs>